people perceive you as successful if you pull up in a nicer car. Uh, say you pull up in a Mercedes, oh, you must be the best real estate agent in the world because you can afford Mercedes, right? And then finally, I think the biggest reason is status. So people with nicer cars, again, are perceived as successful, whether it's true or not. They could be up to their eyeballs in debt, or they could be just keeping up with the Joneses, but hey, they got that nice Mercedes or BMW, so people perceive them as successful. Okay? So, let's talk about some quick stats about the car industry. This is something that I found very interesting. Car manufacturers globally. Okay. $38.5 billion I just more of your loan and about $18 billion in that hundred grand in the state. So why do you think car manufacturers have spent out so much money trying to get you into the dealership and into the metal? That's because it's a huge industry, okay? It's a huge industry that affords a lot of people and a lot of jobs. Now, that's the ultimate need for this video. So the way cars keep you poor is a combination of three things. So you can invest in whatever you want first. However, most key stocks are not as good as you are not going to be able to have a car. You can find a bar with a whole self-directed Roth IRA. You can have bar with a real estate company, LLC, big car, flexing, investing, great use for that Roth IRA. However, that's the inside out of this video. Oh, my God.